Y'all, I really, really want to get back on my weight loss journey. I mean, like for real, for real. I started my weight loss journey like last year. I was doing pretty good or whatever, but you know, slowed down. And now it's at a screeching halt. <laughs> and it's actually trying to back up. The, the It's trying to go the other way. Like, nah, we not doing that. So, yeah. I, it's like when I first started my channel, I don't know if anybody is a real true OG, OG, jizzle OG, like, seven years ago i think it was now yeah over seven years ago when i first started my channel and i was just learning how to do makeup just looking crazy um i did a weight loss journey on my channel as well and a huge reason why i did the weight loss journey on my channel was because you know it was a way to hold myself accountable because you know you put yourself out there you tell people you're on a weight loss journey, you know, then when you're filming and things you put up, you know, it's like, hey, you know, what's your progress, blah, blah, blah. It, it keeps, at least it kept me accountable. And at that time, I would say within, I don't know, six to eight months, I had lost like 50 pounds or something like that. So it worked. And it was a lot of work. We talking, you know, seven, eight years ago, I was a lot younger. <laughs> My body does not function the way it used to. It does not work the same. It does not release weight. I mean, I'm telling you, I can, like, what I used to be able to do, I can't do that now. I used to be able to just be like, okay, I'm going to eat light. I'm going to go. I'm going to walk every day. Child, I could walk from here to Timbuktu. <laughs> It actually gained weight. You know, it's just it's crazy. And because of the fact that I hate working out, and that's not an understatement either. I literally hate working out. I love walking. Like, I could walk forever. Um, and, you know, in the past, that worked perfectly for me. I get up in the morning. I could walk for an hour, hour and a half or whatever. Eat my little, you know, light foods. Watch my calorie intake. Drink my water weight just fall off no problem now child i feel like i would have to do some serious strenuous working out and stuff and i know people tell me well do the weight lifting you know you need to lift weights you need to lift weights you lose weight easier when you lift weights and stuff like that you know drink your water watch your, your intake and this and that and, and it's like yeah i can do that but it's not easy you know i love to eat i love tacos I love sweets. I love sugar. I love desserts. I love all of those things. And it's like, I'm not a believer in torturing myself every day. I'm just not. That's not something I want to do. I have no desire to torture myself every day. You know, especially not, no, you know, already having a husband and all that stuff. I'm like, you know, my husband loves me. I'm good, right? But it's really more so for health reasons, you know. So it's more so than a vanity thing you know but it's a little bit of a vanity thing because it's like certain things that I want to wear that I would feel more comfortable in if I was smaller or you know um being able to purchase certain clothing items that I wouldn't dare purchase now because you know it wouldn't fit me the way that I want it to fit but it's a very very minimal uh vanity reasons for me to lose weight because at the age I'm at now, a lot of care has left the building. <laughs> you know, it really has. I, it's so many things that I just do not allow to consume my brain anymore that I really used to focus on and be concerned about. And oh my gosh, what about this? And what about that? And what about this person? What about that person? What does this person think? And what a child, I couldn't care less, honey. My life is between me and the Lord at this point in time, period. That's it, me and the Lord, okay? So it's really more so for health reasons. And I'm not unhealthy. I'm not, I don't have a lot of health issues and da 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 da. But you know, as you get older, different things start to come up, start to arise, you know? And I don't want them things to start coming up and starting to arise, all right? So I really, really do want to get on a weight loss grind, but. I don't want to do it based on, you know, what somebody else thinks I should be doing or what somebody else is 
standards or requirements are for losing weight because it's never going to last. That doesn't last for me. You know, if somebody tries to force me to go to the gym, like right now, I'm paying for a gym membership right now that I don't use and I'm probably not going to use. Why? Because it's not me. I don't want to do that. That's not me. I don't like doing that. I like to walk. I would much rather go to the park and literally play volleyball with somebody for 30 minutes or an hour more so than going to the gym. That's how much I don't like the gym. So I definitely have to find what works for me at this point in time. And since I moved to Vegas, it's so much harder. It's like, because of the fact that I don't like the gym, because it is so hot that walking, like for me, is literally impossible. Coming from California, you know, the weather is pretty steady, pretty even. Even when it's hot, it's like at least it cools down in the evening or it's cooler in the morning, right? But in Vegas, when it's hot, it's hot. 24 hours a day, it's, it's hot. 100 degrees at 8 p.m., 100 degrees at 7 a.m. So it's like me walking outside, which is what I love to do, becomes impossible, honey. I'm not doing that. And so I join the gym so I can go walk at the gym on the track, right? I could do that. That's not a problem. Okay, fine. It's not the same, you know, because I'm not getting fresh air. I'm not seeing beautiful scenery, but I could do it fine. But it's little things like that that you really don't think about when you really want to, you know, try and do better and make better choices and stuff when you move to a different state where the weather actually is different. And so that has affected me. It truly has. And it's like, even I, I even put a gym in my home. I have a gym in my home. So it's like, okay, girl, we just use your gym in your house. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I need to do that. I should be doing that. But in order for me to be successful in the long run, I have to find something that is going to be sustainable to me because when I'm doing something that I don't enjoy doing, consistency is not going to happen. I'm just being real. I'm keeping it real with myself. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, mm -mm, I don't even lie to myself no more. You know, so <laughs> it's like I even told the man at the gym when I was, he kept pressuring me and pressuring me. Oh, come on. Da, 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 and finally got me to sign up for I even told him, I said, you know what? I'm, I'm just, I'm wasting money. I'm about to waste some money because you talked me into it because I'm not coming to the gym. So anyway. It's ridiculous. I know, you know, it's like, oh, well, just do what you need to do. Do what you're supposed to do. But anybody that has, you know, struggled with their weight or had yo-yo situations, because trust me, I've lost weight several times <laughs> during my life. And I'm talking substantial amounts of weight, 50, 60 pounds. And it comes back because I do it in a way that's not sustainable for me, you know, so... That's really what I want to find at this stage in my life is something that I could do that I'm going to stick to and that I will actually love doing because that way it'll be easier for me to actually lose the weight and keep it off. So, you know, I know it's a combination of things, working out, eating right and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm going to work on it, but... I don't know if I really want to make that a main focus right now because of the fact that, yeah, I do use my channel for accountability when I do stuff like that. And, and I don't want to hear y'all mouth like, KK, why you eating that donut? KK, why you eating that burger? You know, you ain't supposed to be eating that burger. <laughs> leave me alone. Just leave me alone. OK, so anyway, yeah, but that's where I'm at right now. I'm just like, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. It's hot. I want to turn my fan on so bad, but I know you guys be like, you know, hearing my fan in my videos and it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I'm about to get off so I can turn my fan on and y'all don't have to hear it. But anyways, right now, um, I'm just chilling actually. I did this eye look. I used the, uh, the new Nomad palette. I don't know if you saw this eye look already. It was um, I put it up on my Instagram page. And so, um, yeah, it's just a really, really pretty, like colorful rainbow type eye look. And I love it. I actually really love that palette. And I am wondering if it's, you know, because of the fact that, I mean, I like Nomad palettes and shadows, but it's like, I had kind of gotten out of the whole 
like rainbow palettes colorful palettes and stuff I mean I have plenty of them but I kind of took like a a break on doing really colorful looks and so now I'm just kind of like you know um I kind of want to get back to it <laughs> I kind of do so anywho if you're wondering why I have uh, such colorful eyes right now so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna get into for the rest of the day just starting a new vlog but it is late in the evening it's actually almost six o'clock okay so I'm waiting for hubby to come home and um I had the uh pasta that I made like a while back I made you know that big pot and we don't eat that much so I froze some so that I could just kind of you know whenever I don't really want to cook I can just take it out warm it up you know and it's all good so I just warmed some of that up and it's really good okay really good but anyway yeah I'll check in with you guys in a little bit I don't really foresee myself doing a whole lot more this evening but we will continue the vlog in the morning I've been talking for a long time but I just kind of wanted to just sit down oh excuse me <laughs> to sit down chit chat with you guys and let y'all know what was on my mind because i'm just sitting here chilling i love my beauty room i actually do i love my beauty space right now since i made the little changes and stuff i love it in here and it truly did actually kind of re-spark that love for just creating beauty and having a good time playing with my makeup so there's no telling what you guys might see um, makeup wise but let me know also because of the fact that I vlog and I like to do beauty content and stuff let me know kind of what you guys want to see I already know a lot of people love the shop my stashes which those are coming for sure um you know uh what is it content where I'm like showing my um child I can't even think <laughs> old age <laughs> Yeah, um, my collection, <laughs> my makeup collection. I know a lot of people like collection videos. And I've actually been thinking about doing a palette collection video. I am very, very much aware of um, the makeup and especially the palettes that I own. I, I Even with as many as I have, I'm very much aware of them, honey. I, I look at my palettes, touch them, go through them on a regular basis. So it's not like I don't know what I have. I definitely do. And I'm actually very, very happy with my collection the way it is. So if you're wondering why I don't do a lot of declutters and stuff anymore, it's because I am very, very happy and very comfortable with my collection right now, even as large as it is. I love every single palette I have. There are certain brands that for sure, um, if somebody came and was like, hey, you got to get rid of six brands right now out of your collection. <laughs> I already know which ones those would be. Like, honestly, it will probably be Nabla. My Nabla palettes will probably go. Um, probably my Violet Voss. I have some Violet Voss and I never reach for them. Don't even think about reaching for them. Um... Probably some of my Cara Beauty, like my Cara Beauty could probably go and, you know, I really wouldn't miss it. Um, who else? Uh, I don't want to say Profusion because I really like my Profusion palettes. But if somebody forced me to get rid of some of my makeup, Profusion would be on the list and Revolution. Revolution would be on the list as well. Um, so there are certain palettes, brands that I have just because I like to have them in my um, collection, you know, for reference or they have memories attached to them. You know, I have some palettes that my closest friends gave to me. I have palettes that you know, they just spark a certain memory when I look at it or you, or, you know, think about using it. It's just like, oh, you know, and I can't let that memory go. You know, it's like, why should I? Why, why do I have to do a declutter? Because somebody else thinks that I should. Like, this is my makeup. <laughs> you know, it's my makeup. I paid for it. This is my room. 
I determine how much space I have in my house for makeup. You know, if I want to start a whole nother beauty room, I can't. So it just, it, you know, it trips me out when people are like, oh, I really love this palette. I don't want to get rid of it. I really love it. It's like, okay, well, why are you getting rid of it then? If it's a space situation, I totally understand that. If it's because you just don't like keeping makeup, you know, that you're not using, I totally understand that do it throw it all away if you want to but when you're sitting there like fighting with yourself and oh it's like girl just keep the it's just a palette like <laughs> you know that's your palette keep it i don't know i just never understood that so if y'all wonder why i don't be doing declutters this because for what for who no i used to i used to struggle trying to force myself to do a declutter and it's like why I pay for this makeup. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't get a whole bunch of PR. I know it's like a lot of people that get a lot of PR. I understand that because you don't have room for it. You run out of room because you get sent PR every freaking day. So you're like, man, I don't have space for all this makeup. It's got to go. There's no choice. It has to go to someone else who's going to use it or, you know, you just have to get rid of it. And so I totally understand that. Honey, I don't. I have one brand that sends me PR on a regular basis, you know, one. <laughs> so, you know, I don't have that issue. I got plenty of room for my Nomad palettes, honey. So anyway, I don't know how I got on that topic, but oh, I was just talking about how much I love my room. Child, I just be chilling in here, okay? So anyway, I'll let y'all go. I've been talking forever.
to go with a dark lip today like I never do a dark lip I'm not a like I used to really be a dark lip I mean blues greens purples all of that but I just kind of got out of that because I would like my eyes so bold you know bold lip bold eye can be too much but I feel like doing a dark lip today so the lip that I have on but this is kind of like how I kind of you know show my makeup and stuff on Instagram instead of just like listing everything out like if somebody has a question about something specific I can easily just be like oh well that's the elf you know power grip prime or priming spray or whatever but the lip that I have on is from Juvia's place <laughs> called drama queen how apropos but yeah one of these lipsticks from Juvia's Place and it is super duper dark. Super dark, but really pretty. And since I never wear dark lips, I was like, what the hey, let's do it. And I used my new e.l.f. lip liner. It's the Cream Glide Lip Liner. What shade is this? What shade is this? Yeah, I know it's a shade on here. It's like the burgundy one, like a plum color, but I don't see the shade name, but I know it's on here. Maybe it's not, maybe it just goes by the color, but child, this is what color it is. I need to sharpen it. <laughs> but yeah, this is really pretty plum shade, that dark plum one that they have. And I like it. I really do shoot for, what is it, two bucks? You can't beat that. I don't like uh, having to sharpen my pencils, but you really can't beat that because the pencil that I like from Sephora, I think it's the molasses. Is that one $10, $12? Then I'd be $20. I don't know, but it's pretty expensive. I mean, compared to $2, even if it's $10, this is like one fifth of the price of that. So, and I got a sharpener. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm creating content for Instagram. And, you know, I kind of decided that I wanted to really focus on doing looks almost every day, if I possibly can, just so that I can really, you know, try out these different palettes and get a feel for them. And I want to kind of format my, like, shop my stashes a little bit differently I want to kind of split them into two different videos because I want to have one video where I'm uh, recapping the products I use and then separate my actual shop my stash so the videos aren't so long but anyway this is the palette of the day also yesterday I went through my drawer my drawer of primers was just like looking crazy and I just needed to mix it up because I really didn't even know like what primers I have, what primers I don't have. So let me just show you guys, take you guys off this tripod. But I just want to show you guys um, what I did to switch up storage of my primers. Because I had it in one of my white drawers, which I have a nice empty drawer now. But I had it in one of my white drawers and it was just a lot so I put it in one of the new little black um, makeup um, things let me show you child I can't talk hold on 
So you guys know that I got these, you know, new little containers, you know, to kind of switch up my beauty room and stuff. So I used one of them, as you can see here, for my primers. And I decided to just, you know, put them in here so that they're easily accessible. I can see what I have, pull them out. Hold on, you guys look blurry. Okay, hopefully that's a little better, but I can easily reach and grab, you know, the different primers that I want to try out, you know, during my shop, my stashes, you know, I have some in these drawers here that, you know, didn't fit and, you know, even some more down here. So it just makes it a little easier for me as far as accessing my primers because I did have them in one of these type drawers, you know, one of these drawers that I use for, you know, all of my makeup products and stuff, and it was on the bottom. So it really made it difficult for me to, you know, bend down, get them and stuff. It wasn't convenient. So now I have, you know, my foundations, which are easily accessible here. And then over there, I have my primers. Now, do I like having my primers and foundations? Um, so far apart from each other, not sure yet, but I'll have to figure that out later. But anywho, I just wanted to pop in and share with you guys today's look because I'm really feeling the blue. I like it. I think it's pretty and I'm very pleased with this palette. I mean, child, ColourPop, for the price? I mean, not even for the price. Their shadows are really, really good, really, really nice. And even like the shimmers, really, really pretty. So yeah but yeah i'll talk to y'all later hey guys so i'm getting ready to go run some errands it's super hot <laughs> so i don't know how long this face is gonna last i'm come over here to the light but yeah it's super hot i went in my beauty room and i grabbed my lipstick that i have on just in case i grab something to eat and i need to refresh it but i just need to run the coals to see if i can find something right quick but the scent of the day i need to pick a scent of the day so okay so this is my little area where i have my scents that i pulled probably about two months ago now but these are the scents that i am choosing from i get a lot of compliments on that black opium by ysl the cherry one oh i get a lot of compliments on that i also get a lot of compliments on this this one is the Commodity Milk, um, what, Commodity Milk Plus? I don't know, but my girl DJ told me about that, and I get a lot of compliments on that. I think today I'm going to go ahead and do this, um, what is it, Finery, the ones that I got from Target. So this one is, what, sweet on the outside, it looks like. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So I just propped you guys up because <laughs> I don't feel like doing my um my tripod right now just to put on some perfume. Okay, so that's enough. But yeah, so it's this one from Target, the finery. It's sweet on the outside. Anyways, this it smells really, really good. I'm not good with descriptions and stuff, so check it out. Those on the Target website it smells really good. So let's go ahead and Run some errands. Now, let me see. It's not much light, but I can try and show you guys my outfit of the day. I just have on this blue and white striped tank top. It's like a spaghetti strap, you know, with a little white bra top under it. Some super dark blue jeans. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Sorry about that, you guys. But yeah and then i just have on these cute little comfortable flats because it is hot outside and this purse i'm sure i think i got it from amazon or something i don't know i don't recall i'll have to you know try and remember where i got it from but just super casual nothing over the top just to be out because y'all know it's gonna be over 100 degrees when I go outside and get in this hot car. <laughs> so let's go.
don't know if y'all can hear me, but it's 114 degrees in my car. 114 degrees, okay? <laughs> so, if you wondering if it's hot, uh, yeah, it's hot, but I gotta get out of these streets because I gotta, I gotta go find something, so I don't have no choice, otherwise I'd be staying in the house, for real, for real. Falling deeper, cold and nice, not no more shit. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. No, I can't, just can't. I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't. I tree all kind of stuff over here but i think i'm really just going into the tj maxx because i just want to see what they got so i'll see y'all inside hey hey look i'm too cool for the rules baby get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look, papa don't preach, teachers don't teach Gon' reach, that's facts I ain't worried about none of that I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ. Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quota on me like a referee. Paying what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom, yeah. Shorter shape like a letter D. Let her have it, then I let her be. If you love it, gotta let it grow. Crazy cause you really never know. When I'm hurting, never let it show. I'm a two tone, two phone, two chain, new thing, lane with, but you a broke. Low class, no cash, certified lame I'm getting to it like I ought to Couldn't pick, so I bought two Understand why your chick came I'm just trying to figure why she brought you I'm really repping and I'm flexed up And I ain't got to tell them I'm next up Sleep on the they rest up But I'm up and I'm getting my checks up Me and the fellas be high as propellers Ain't like could tell us we great Looking at like how do you figure Unless you could talk about a figures I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look how we litty, we turned up the city, we raising the bar height I been finessing, just look at them stressing, yeah, they been on all night Sipping this water with somebody's daughter, she take what I taught her and build on it Came in this game on that shit that they ain't in a couple years later, we still on it Be hating on it, be waiting on it like a new season I bet an acre on it, I put some paper on it like I'm loose leafing Buying them assets, build me a cash net, I could fall in Look at my last bit, ain't got a tiptoe I'm all in. Think on a level that can't fail, and I roll me a J with the hate mail. Been doing good on the merch sale. All this bread on me look like a bake sale. Tell her you what's really good. I'll be really good on a jaw jack. Send an email about the bread. I'ma hit you back with the call back. I'm too cool for the rules, baby. Get off of me. Never need no push. I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters. Got them on call for me. 
Money move it, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Ay, ay. Yeah. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look, Papa don't preach, teachers don't teach Gon' reach, that's facts I ain't worried about none of that I'm making that cash day Bunch of O's like NASCAR But it's really more like NASDAQ Why they thinking that they hot When they really more like Call the homie like a referee Paying what they'll never be Small top with a big bottom Yeah, shot is shaped like a letter D Let her have it, then I let her be If you love it, gotta let it grow Crazy cause you really never know When I'm hurting, never let it show I'm a two-tone, two-phone, two-chain New thing, lame with But you a broke Low class, no cash, certified lame I'm getting to it like I ought to Couldn't pick, so I bought two Understand why your chick came I'm just trying to figure why she brought you I'm really reppin' and I'm flexed up And I ain't gotta tell him I'm next up Sleep on the they rest up, but I'm up and I'm getting my checks up. Me and the fellas be high as propellers, they like could tell us we great. Looking at like, how do you figure unless you could talk about a figures? I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look how we litty, we turned up the city, we raising the bar height I been finessing, just look at them stressing, yeah, they been on all night Sipping this water with somebody's daughter, she take what I taught her and build on it Came in this game on that shit today, ain't in a couple years later, we still on it Be hating on it, be waiting on it like a new season I bet an acre on it, I put some paper on it like I'm loose leafing so I got this little organizer thing to help me <laughs> when I do get out the house shopping. I got it from um, Amazon, of course, just so that my stuff doesn't have to be banging around and stuff in the car when I'm driving. And not only that, um, you know, when I open up my trunk door, my stuff doesn't all come rolling out. So it's actually very nice and handy. It has like a bunch of pockets and stuff. So yeah, it works out well. Ooh. Okay, so y'all saw. Uh, it is hot. Uh, I feel like I am melting. I am melting. But yeah, I found some really good deals in there on a couple of things. I was checking out the makeup. I'm always seeing my girl Lily um, finding good deals and stuff when she go to TJ Maxx. And I'd be like, girl, you got that? <laughs> so um, I just grabbed a few things that caught my eye as you guys saw and so now I'm going to head to Kohl's but I need to put the address because I thought it was in this same shopping center but I don't see it so yeah I'm going to put it in my GPS so I can find Kohl's and go see what's happening over there and then I gotta get something to eat I haven't eaten all day and it is 2.39 Ay, ay. Yeah. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me 
Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Look, Papa don't preach, teachers don't teach. Gonna reach, that's facts. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ. Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quota on me like a referee. Paying what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom, yeah. Shot a shape like a letter D. Let her have it, then I let her be. If you love it, gotta let it grow. Crazy, cause you really never know. When I'm hurting, never let it show. I'm a two tone, two phone, two chain, new thing, lame. Wait, but you a broke. Low class, no cash, certified lame. I'm getting to it like I ought to. Couldn't pick, so I bought two. Understand why your chick came. I'm just trying to figure why she brought you. I'm really reppin' and I'm flexed up. And I ain't gotta tell him I'm next up. Sleep on the they rest up. But I'm up and I'm getting my checks up. Me and the fellas be high to propellers like could tell us we great. Looking at like how do you figure unless you could talk about a figure? I'm too cool for the rules, baby. Get all for me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Look how we lit it, we turned up the city, we raising the bar height. Either it's been a long time since I've been in Coles or this place has gotten really, really like not anything that I'm interested in because it is boring in here. No thank you. Yeah, y'all, I don't know why I thought that Coles was more hip, <laughs> but it truly just seemed like it was like a store for senior citizens or something. Maybe the one in California was just more hip than that one or <laughs> had more things that would interest me because this one yeah it was like a snooze fest in there so I don't know maybe it's California versus Nevada or maybe it's the area that I'm in maybe this area caters to uh, different clientele then. yeah maybe they um, just cater to a different type of clientele or something cause chill uh uh that was a waste of time. I mean, they had some cute home decor stuff in there, but yeah. Nope. <laughs> it's gonna be a no from me, dog. So anyway, I'm starving now. I think I'm gonna go grab a quick bite and uh, either head back to the house or I'll be heading to the studio to go check on my husband. See what he doing over there, okay? See what he cooking, all right? Yes, can I get a number two? Just regular with a Sprite? Or you know what, can I try a strawberry Sprite? big old straw I ordered just a, a regular which I assume I ordered just a regular which I assume is like you know the little small cup the regular size but it's like came with this big old cup maybe they had to upsize it because I got the strawberry sprite but I'm still trying to figure out why she gave me this big old straw it's like one of those straws that you use when you're drinking, uh, what is it, boba? Like boba teas, so you can suck up the balls. I ain't got no balls in this. It's just strawberry Sprite. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's some actual pieces of strawberry in here. But 
It's good. Oh wait, that was good. <laughs> Oh, that was good. That tastes like real strawberries. So it must be real strawberries in there. Because it don't taste like imitation. But what do I know? Anyway. I'm starving. Starving like Marvin. But no, I ain't started my, uh, my healthy eating. My healthy lifestyle yet. <laughs> I'll let y'all know when I do. But baby, these fries is hot and fresh. Okay. <laughs> hot and fresh. Okay, y'all, we back at the house. I switched out my laundry. I'm doing domesticated duties today <laughs> while I'm out with the shenanigans. You know, I'm doing two things at once, okay? Well, they call it multitasking. Anyway, I still got my tacos. If you guys aren't familiar with Del Taco, and number two is two chicken soft tacos and a small fry, so. I ate my small fry on the way home, as you guys already know. But while I eat my taco, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little, where did I go? TJ Maxx haul. Now, I showed you guys um, my new setup for my primers and stuff, but I don't know if I'm 100% satisfied with that setup. I really like it because it's in an enclosed, you know, makeup holder thing, but I'm not sure if that's really how I want to store my primers and I wasn't 100% happy with it, but I was just satisfied with it. So um, these I love, <clears throat> you know, these little like rotating, um, you know, organizers. I love these things because you can use them for all kind of stuff. You can use them for makeup, brushes, you can use them in the bathroom for toilet or not toiletries, but you know, skincare, um, just all kind of stuff. Whatever you want to, you can use it in your office, you know, for pens and pencils and scissors, whatever. But this is an extra large rotating beauty organizer and it was, it looks like $12.99. I keep glasses all over my house, different colors, different sizes, because <laughs> y'all know I can't see, but yeah, $12.99 for that, and since I wasn't sure, that was the second one that I picked up, because I know I have a lot of primers, and I don't know if I'm going to need um, both or just one. If I do a little slight declutter, maybe I could just use one. 
But this is another one. This one is from Think Space Beauty. I really like this one. I like this one actually better than this one because this one is unique. You know, it has the squared off um, edges, you know, the straight edges instead of it being round. And this one was actually cheaper. This one was $7.99, it looks like. Yeah, so this one was almost half price. And it's like they're both pretty big. This one's a little larger, it looks like, but that would definitely be enough for all of my primers if I need both of those, but I might only need one. So I'm gonna take that upstairs to my beauty room uh, and figure that out. But yeah, Del Taco is my jam, okay? My jam. And ain't nothing fancy about them, you know, it's just this little itty, itty bitty little chicken taco. You see that? Got a little bit of chicken, lettuce, and cheese in there. <laughs> ain't nothing too much, okay? So, yeah, but they are good. For a little snack. Okay. And I was looking at the little mugs when you, you know, go to pay or go to check out. They have some cute mugs, okay? And I know good and doggone well, I don't have no more room in my cabinet for not one more mug. Not one. But it was so cute. They had this one and then the little pastel one that you guys probably saw in the video because I believe I was filming in there, but it's just so cute. I love mugs, you know, because I drink coffee every day. So this was what, $5.99? So it's like, I love different mugs. This is so cute. I love it. And I'm not really a like pastel -y type chick. So I always lean more towards primary colors, you know, blue, red, whatever, black, white. I do love a good gray though. <laughs> My girl Lily <laughs> just showed me <clears throat> a Revolution Maxi Reloaded palette that she got. I think hers is more like neutral tones with like orangey browns and stuff in it, really pretty. But I saw this and I was like, you know what? I want one too. <laughs> Know it good and well. I used to buy Revolution back in the day, like like it wasn't nothing. I had so many Revolution palettes that I decluttered, or gave to my daughter, or gave to you know my niece and stuff like that. But this one was so pretty. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh, there it goes. Let me go ahead and just get me a Revolution palette to play with. So these are all the colors in here. It's real pretty. It really is. It's real pretty, child. But we gonna see. <laughs> we gonna see, honey. Revolution ain't never been known to just be outstanding as a makeup brand, but we'll see. And then these two blush palettes, I did not need to get both of them, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted. Um, they're both, you know, kind of light in tone, but they're very, very pretty. This one is more like pinky. You know, it has more pink tones to it. So I got this one because I wasn't gonna get it. Cause you know, I'm not really a pink blush type of chick. I'm more of like a corally, peachy, orangey, melon type chick, not really pink. But this one was pretty. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it for what? $3.99? Hopefully it show up on my cheeks. And this is the one that I really wanted. Cause this one is more like peachy tones. So I'll probably only be able to use, you know, these two, but very, very pretty. And so this one's $3.99 as well. So $3.99, it's worth, you know, checking out. And then you guys probably saw me trying to figure out a new mirror uh, because the mirror that I used to put my makeup on, you know, it sits on my desk and it's a pretty decent size for me to be able to do my makeup. But the magnifier, I don't think it's, it magnifies enough for me sometimes, like when I'm putting on my lashes or I really want to see what's going on, you know, on my face. So I got this, which has the 10 times 
magnification on it and then it just has a regular mirror on this side so i got this and i got it in pink since you know my room is now black and white with a hint of gray and touches of pink so i got that you know something slight something slight nothing major and then last but not least i got this and i didn't rip she's louise i didn't realize um how affordable it was because I guess I didn't look at the price when I grabbed it I was like I just want it but this purse is so cute look how cute this Steve Madden purse is it's so cute and let me move this taco all the way it's so cute I love the um, straps so it has the larger strap which has the Steve Madden on there as you can see it has, you know, the cute little extra pouch that attaches to the purse, which is super cute. It has a smaller handle, which does this come off? No, this one doesn't come off, but that's fine because I will always wear it on my shoulder or, you know, probably as a crossbody if I can. But look how cute this is. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Isn't it cute? This is like this is KK 100%. This is me all day, every day, grab and go to the stove, to the casino, to wherever. This is this is me all day. So I'm loving it. It has a little S, Steve Madden SM on there. Child, this thing was $29.99. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be like at least 50 or 60 bucks. It has a little card holder on here. I'm loving this. I feel like I really, really, got a cute little steal with this so this is like actually <laughs> my most exciting purchase of the day okay so this along with my two makeup containers along with you know my little i think um yeah this mirror what was it 12.99 everything all together was like 90 something bucks so it wasn't even a hundred dollars for all of this stuff so i feel like i got it deal but oh and my little mug too child i got all kind of stuff for less than a hundred dollars but yeah so i went out i didn't buy i didn't get anything well except for the bag the bag was what i was actually looking for i just wanted a new bag not like i needed one but just wanted wanted to see what they had really if they had something cute i knew i was gonna um i knew i was gonna grab it so let me wash my hands I hate touching a bunch of stuff while I'm eating and then just continuing to eat, but sometimes it's unavoidable, but I can go wash my hands because I'm at my house. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, really happy with my purchases. Okay. So yeah, I think the rest of the day is going to be pretty easy breezy, but other than that, that's it for now, y'all. I guess if I have anything else to share with y'all, I'll be back. If not... This will probably be the end of my vlog. Well, y'all in luck if y'all wasn't ready for this vlog to end. Because guess who just rang my doorbell with a bunch of packages? Packages? No packages. Packages? No packages. <laughs> anyway, I ain't got no sense. But yeah, the mailman just rang the bell. And I have packages. Make sure I don't have my address all over, all over the internet, the interwebs, okay? But yeah, a bunch of packages, okay? So let's open up these packages together. Which one do I want to open first? Okay, this one is from Blend Bunny, which means this is a brand new palette, a brand new release. <laughs> Cause I already got my other Blend Bunny palettes. The four that I ordered last week. Okay, them gorgeous palettes. I was just gonna wait until, you know, this one drops so I can order all five of them together. But I felt like they might sell out. Cause you know, a lot of times when there's a drop, people wait to buy you know, the other palettes that they've been wanting to kind of combine, you know, combine the whole discount, pay for one shipping. Child, I did not want to chance it. So this is the new Blend Bunny Long Gain. Ooh, I like this packaging. 
Look how pretty that is. It's like a mauve color. <gasps> she pretty. And then this is what the back looks like. Yeah. So, I'm really, really loving this because you guys know I'm in my cool tone era right now. <laughs> Which I'm starting to think that's a lifestyle because I just love cool tones. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to feel like, oh, warm tone, warm tone because it went better with my skin tone. And it just, you know, cool tones seemed like they were a little more drab and boring. But yeah, now, honey, it's cool tones or nothing. <laughs> so the packaging, the palette looks just like the packaging. Look at that, it's so pretty. And then there's, you know, ingredients on the back. But this is the Longing, 24 tragically beautiful shades. Oh, so I guess the theme of this is supposed to be like a broken heart or long lost love or something like that. I don't know, but. Ciao, do you see the sadness, the misery, the cool tone loneliness? <laughs> Illustrated in this palette chat yeah, just the cool tone loneliness but anyway let me quit it is gorgeous look at it look at it she's pretty now if you're not into these tones these like just muted greens and blues and smoky dungy like doo-doo brown <laughs> you know and then the beautiful just cool tone eggplant purples and stuff like that I feel you. I, I hear you. I know. I know. It, it takes a special kind of love for these shades to get into it, you know. And child, I am into it. <laughs> I am into it. Y'all know. I love me some eyeshadow. And this palette, it is so gorgeous. It's like my lighting is not doing it justice either. These shimmers are sha-popping. They sha-popping. It's, it's, it's gorgeous, okay? It's gorgeous. So anyway, I got that from Blend Bunny. It's like, it's the box is so pretty. I don't keep my boxes because I don't like having to go through all that when I want to use a palette. I want to just grab it and open it. And since the palette looks just like the box, I don't know, but the box is so gorgeous, I might keep this one. Sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and keep the box because it's that cute. Now, who is this from? Ciao. It's international, so who is this? Cosmic Brushes. <laughs> Listen, y'all saw in my last vlog, y'all was with me when I ordered these palettes. Shout out when I caught it on the drop, okay? Y'all was with me. Well, if you watched that vlog, you was with me. But anyway. Mm-mm-mm. Child, I cannot wait. <sighs> and they packed pretty well, pretty well. So hopefully there will be no casualties. So there's nothing worse than opening an eyeshadow palette and you got casualties, child. That is so depressing. It just made me want to throw the whole palette up against the wall. That might sound dramatic, but that's exactly how I feel when I open the palette. And one of my, or more of my shadows is broken. Ugh. Because it's like, I love the beauty of makeup. I love the beauty of a new palette. So, you know, when you open up a brand new palette and it's like, <laughs> and you got broken shadows. Yeah, it's just like, you know what? Just, just trash the whole palette. Just throw the whole thing away. <laughs> but I don't. I repress it and keep it pushing so this one is the cool trunk cool cool trolls cool trolls play on words cool trolls instead of neutrals cool trolls beautiful gray tone packaging <sighs> okay cosmic brushes oh thank you jesus and oh this this is a beauty she's a beauty yep 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 Look at that. Ugh. Why does eyeshadow do that to me? I swear you would think eyeshadow was my husband, honey, because it just made me feel some type of way. 
Oh, so pretty. Look how pretty. Looky, looky, looky. Mm. Mm, mm. Looky, looky milk and cookies. Oh, she pretty. And like I said, my, my lighting, it's not doing it justice. Like these shimmers, these shimmers are so pretty. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, I can see this one up here shifting. It's shifting from pink to green. Pink to green. I don't know if you, you guys probably can't see it, but yeah. This one right here, it was shifting right before my eyes. Mm -hmm. Y'all can't see it. But look how pretty this palette is. Ah! Uh! Lord have mercy. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And I'm going to have to wait a little bit because I don't want to do two blue eye looks back to back. I mean, I could focus on the purples, but I want to do like a combination eye look with the blue and the purple tones in here. So, yeah. But I'm going to use that probably next week. It's already Friday. So, yeah. I'm going to use it next. I might use it Sunday. But yeah, I don't want to do two blue looks back to back to back to back to back. Okay, so this is the neutrals. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing for the palette. No casualties. Come through with the no casualties. Ugh. Let me stick my fingers in here. Now look at this neutral palette. What? What? <laughs> Do you see the mustardy yellows? Do you see the burgundy? That beautiful, oh my gosh. It's like a, a burgundy-ish brown. This beautiful deep dark. Is that black? It looks like black, child, but who knows? The green shimmer. Oh, this is gorgeous. See, in the in the camera, it's looking like orange that shimmer but when i look at it it's i don't know if it has like a green shift to it yeah i know y'all not gonna be able to see the shifts but whoo this palette mm. and this is where i am with my makeup purchases right now if a palette don't make me feel like this okay that little revolution palette that i got from tj maxx it slid in it, it slid through okay but if a palette don't make me feel like this baby i don't want it I don't want it. This is gorgeous. Ah, oh, she pretty. Anyway, okay. So that's that. That's that package. That that one. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I think we got some profusion. I had a little bit of a, a profusion week moment where I was like, you know what? I want to try some profusion, okay? And I don't even think what I bought <laughs> is new. As a matter of fact, I think it's like old. Some of, you know, these palettes that I bought are like super old, but I ain't never heard of them, you know, because I wasn't checking for profusion for years. So, oh, this is free. Thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your free gift. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, profusion with the little cute little free brushes. Look at that. And they look like some decent little brushes too. Okay, girl, you know, I love, I always love a free gift, okay? You know what your mama say, don't look a gift horse, gift horse in the mouth. Okay, so let's see what I grabbed from Profusion. And if you have any of these palettes, let me know what you think about them. But I, um, it seems like, <laughs> Typically, I try to do research on stuff before I buy it, and I definitely do, which sometimes is irrelevant because every, people have different opinions about stuff. One person going to love something, and the next person is going to hate it. So you can watch two reviews and be extremely confused, okay? So, yeah, I, um, I feel like I watched a couple of reviews, but... You know, and ended up getting it in the end. So I guess I believe the good review over the bad one. But yeah, I really just love how Profusion palettes look. To be honest with you, I feel like I like the hard plastic palettes. I just do. So anyway, I got another one of these, which 
I love these the packaging for these type of palettes you know you can find them in Walmart and stuff like that but I went ahead and ordered mine on the Profusion website sorry about all the glare you know is what it is but this one is adventurous and let me take this plastic off so you guys can actually see the shadows just this color story you guys know I love a beautiful earthy color story and you know Profusion palettes they come with a, a actually a pretty pretty nice eyeshadow brush <laughs> I actually really like their eyeshadow brushes that come in these but these are the shades in this palette so I'm pretty sure you can see why it is that I was drawn to grab this. I wanted to try it out. <clears throat> yeah, I love this, you know, like the earthiness to it, a couple of pops of bright shades. So yeah, I wanted to try that one out. The other one I got, like I said, this one is pretty old, but I just wanted to check it out. It's the Profusion Harvest palette. And I think one of the reviews I was watching might have been two years old. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, I figure if they still selling it, you know, then people must still be buying it. It must be pretty decent. The review that I watched actually said that it was a pretty decent palette. Let me see if I can get this plastic off so you guys can actually see the shades. I hate when packaging is so hard to open because then it's like you run the risk of damaging your shadows trying to open it. This is pretty. Along the same lines of the grungy green and orangey um, color story. You know, it's not too, too far off from this one that I got. So you can see what kind of mood I was in when I was on their website perusing. And I don't remember how much I paid for this. $10? $10 maybe? And this might have been 12 Do not remember, but I know it wasn't a whole lot. And then I grabbed the Ninja Turtles palette because, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people using it on the tube and it just got my attention. And while I never watched the Ninja Turtles, you know, I was a little bit older at that point. I have a younger brother who was in love with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, he was young enough at the time to watch them, love them. And so... It's like I always think of him whenever I see anything <laughs> pertaining to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so sh this sleeve is extremely tight. So I'm not about to try and pull that out because I don't even know if I'm going to use this or if I'm just going to keep it as a keepsake, you know. But this is what the palette looks like. You know, hopefully you can see it without too much glare. And those are the colors in there. There's a lot of um, people reviewing it, you know, on YouTube. So if you're curious about what the shades look like and how it performs and stuff. Definitely search and you can find something. Cause like I said, I might not even take this out the sleeve. I really just got it kind of as a memento type situation. Oh, one more package, but I got some more elf stuff. <laughs> Cause you know what? Listen, okay. And that's, that's a problem I have buying backups, buying multiples, all that kind of stuff. But when I tell you that I fell in love with this e.l.f. Stay Cool Priming Stick, I love this. So it just, it makes my skin feel so hydrated and it just feels amazing. I love it. Putting this on before I put my makeup on, it's like my skin just soaks it up. It feels so good and cool and refreshing and I just rub it all over my face and I do it before I put on my do my eyebrows so that it can really soak in before I get to putting my base products on I love this stuff so yes I did buy me a backup okay this is a freebie because I didn't buy this this is a daily cleanser that they gave me for free so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in my travel bag um, I grabbed this because I was thinking I didn't have an e.l.f. powder already, but I actually do. When I looked in my drawer, I actually do, and I'm wondering if I got the same shade. I actually used it on this look today. It's a pressed powder, and I really like the powder. This e.l.f. camo powder, very, very nice. This one is the shade 500W, Deep 500W. So I don't know if the one that I have is the same shade or not. I could look at it and tell. Ooh, it might be. Might be. But this is the shade that I have. And I really like it. 
I really, really like this powder. It's nice. I actually mainly, no, I used it for most of my face now that I think about it. Because I had started out under my eyes and around my mouth and stuff. And then I just went in my whole face with it. So, yeah. I really like this powder. But I thought I didn't have it. And I did. So, now I got two. <laughs> it's all good. Um, Honey, this e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. Your girl got two more. So, that ought to tell you something. Okay? One is going in my travel makeup bag. Because this, this stuff is legit legit when i tell you i am in love with this stuff i'm in love to the point where i'm afraid of them discontinuing it and running out so i bought two more <laughs> so yeah one is going in my travel kit and the other one is going right over here because i'm about to be using that y'all might get sick of that in my shop my stash because i don't see myself you know, I'll try other foundations, but I'm probably going to be using that one for a while, okay? And then I grabbed some more of these lip pencils because after I used um, the burgundy one and the deep dark brown one, whatever color this is, um, that I got, this is, you know, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and stock up. They only $2 and, you know... When I find a lip lighter or a lip pencil that I like, I stick with it. So I'm very, very happy that I got one from e.l.f. because they are so affordable. And this, oh, I did grab this, this e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. I said I was not going to buy none of their liquid blushes because I have so many liquid blushes. I won't say so many, but I have enough. And I tend to not really use liquid blushes for whatever reason hold on y'all okay i'm back i had to run downstairs to get the door because i thought that um that phone my husband ordered a new phone and i thought i had to sign for it child as i got down the stairs and opened the door i seen him about to leave it <laughs> in front of the door and and now look if i wouldn't have ran downstairs he would have left, left a note. You got to sign for it. Come get it. That's how it go. That's how it always go. Whoo, child. Anyway, the blush. I typically do not use or gravitate towards liquid blushes. So I was like, I need to stop buying stuff that I know I'm not going to use. But this color was so pretty. I said, you know what? I'm just going to force myself to try it. <laughs> so this is one of the e.l.f. Camel brushes or blushes and this is in the shade Gorge Orange. Gorge Orange, y'all. And it does, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, and this color is like right up my little summertime, springtime alley too. So, yeah, it's very bright. So if you don't like bright orange, oh, she pretty, ciao. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rock this. Look how pretty that is. That's pretty. Gorge orange. And it's glowy too. Now why, explain to me why I would put it on the furthermost part of my hand that's the hardest for me to turn and twist for y'all to see. Why didn't I just put it right here? Anyway, the gorge orange, yeah. That is pretty and that's going to be a gorgeous blush with a green eye look, army green eye look. And I got plenty of army green palettes now. So anyway, y'all, that is it for <laughs> this impromptu haul. Ciao. I'll see y'all on the next one. Hey, hey. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me